<clears throat> food, glorious food. Yeah. Hi folks, so welcome back to the next video and in today's video we're going to be covering fruit fly cultures. So I purchased mine originally from Advanced Source Marine and I'll pop that link in just there and I'll pop it in below so you can click it. And what we're going to be doing is going over how I make my fruit fly, fly cultures. So trying to get my weeds out there. In any case, I buy the tubs from there as well and you want the ones with the actual like fabric on the top as you see what they come with. You can buy them from there and it's just easy to buy them altogether. I have tried by the tops and where you stick the things on your top but they're an absolute nightmare. In any case, enough of that. We'll go into the recipe, show you how to do it and then go from there. Hi folks, so for this recipe, you're going to need 125 ml of beer. 50 grams of instant mash, 25 ml of white vinegar, and a quarter of teaspoon of yeast. This will make enough for two cultures. So first we add our 125 ml of beer. Next, is 50 grams of instant mashed potato and 25 mils of white vinegar. Now what we want to do is mix this all together. Now remember if it's too dry you can add some water and if it's too runny just add some more instant mash. That for me is a nice consistency. It's not too wet and it's not too dry. So next I will just add my half quarter of a teaspoon of yeast. Mix this all together. And the mixture is ready to go into the pots. Next you will need a 32 ounce pot and a lid with a fabric top. Add the mixture. You want this around one to one and a half inches deep. Pack that down. I tend to use the back of my hand like so. And next, we'll add some wood wool. Now I brought this from eBay. Just add about half a handful of wood wool. And I'm just tapping these so they go back down to the bottom, they don't escape. After you've done that, that'll be fine. Add about 30 to 40 fruit flies, that's what I do. And we'll give them one more tap. Make sure you pop your lid on nice and secure. Make sure all the sides are on, because they do try to escape. And then just pop this somewhere as guided on the temperatures that we'll be going through next. Hi folks, we're back and I hope you enjoyed that little thing and you're getting your mixing bowls and you're going, you know, saving yourself some money. It is something you need to be doing. Save yourself some money, get out to the store, buy them ingredients. As soon as you get your fruit fly culture and you've got enough flies in there, make sure you've got enough flies for your monsters, of course. When you've got some spare ones and you see them maggots on the side, start making that culture quick and then that cycle, you can keep going. You want to be changing these every three weeks, here, four weeks or longest there. You don't want any bacteria or mites building up in there. So always keep your fruit fly cultures away from anything the best you can. That's what I've done. I've never had any problems with it. So it will save you some money. Now temperature wise, you don't want me letting these drop below 15. But that said, you should be keeping them well over 20. I keep mine between 23 degrees, 25 degrees Celsius. I have heard they can be kept high up to 30, which is something I don't do. Now remember your Malagascas are going to hatch a lot quicker and your Hardy's a bit slower. So, you know, hopefully this will save you some money and these are things you can just grab hold of. Now regarding the wood wool, I have seen people using shredded paper. Not some of the views myself, but I have seen people using it. And I have seen people adding 
fruit a lot, grated apple, banana. It's so much I don't use because the smell is absolutely horrendous. But if you've got somewhere you can keep them, um, where well, you don't mind the smell being, then yeah, by all means put a bit of mashed up banana in there if you want to. I have used grated apple before myself in, in the mixtures, but these seem to work great. So, in any case, if you like the video, give us a like. Don't forget to share, comment below, also subscribe if you haven't, and hit the notification bell. That'll keep you up to date when the next videos come. And don't forget, I'm on TikTok. Yes, TikTok. Head on over and give us a look, it's hilarious. Okay then guys, catch you in the next one. Bye.